Yes. Okay. According to studies of human behavior, people around us greatly influence choice and decisions. Uh, psychologists, psychologists say that social brute influences. Social brute is how other people action influences because flow the People, people follow the advice of a pet because a pet are knowledgeable, careful, and book review with size popular because uh, people are interested in consumers' opinions. Opinion, opinion. Finally, there is the social proof of friend our friend are usually more like us than other people and we just their recommendations so our friends recommendations is probably the best advertising of on thank you for listening Oh. Yeah, listen, listen to this. One, two, three, four. Breathe in, breathe out. One, two, three, four. Oh. Breathe in, breathe out. Each of you doesn't have the intonation of reading that is required so that you can sound similar to actually reading in English. There, when you all of you have this, but everyone has a different level. Of you, Every, have, everyone has a different level. What happens here is when you take something like you want to read, you need to learn how to flow with the reading with the word. Let's try this. Very simple word, very simple sentence. Okay, subject verb. Object, subject. Right. One, two, three. The dog eats. It this becomes together. The dog eats. Right. Now, that's foundation. Let's continue more. The dog eats food. One, two, three, four. The dog eats food. One breath. Okay, so this is the skill of reading, right? When you see the words here, you have to follow a rhythm. Rhythm. Flow. Flow. Time. One, Mississippi. Two, Mississippi. Three Mississippi, four Mississippi. Speak. Breathe in and then speak out. One, two, three, four. The dog eats food. The dog eats food. Perfect. Keep practicing it again and again. Right? You will become better readers. Now, what I've heard so many times in my life. Um, in Korea, Koreans have a similar reading style in English as you do. However, in Korean speaking, when they translate or read in English, they have a boom, 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 boom reading style. The dog eats food. The dog eats food. The dog eats food. That's Korean reading. Korean person would read this way. That's their rhythm when they're learning English. I noticed for you, each of you have a similar, not you have you like more cha cha when you're reading English. The dog eats food. That's what I heard from your reading. 
So we want to try to change and adjust. We need to adjust this by learning how to breathe out when you're speaking. One, two, three, get timing when you're speaking. And then practice again and again. The dog eats food. The dog eats food. The dog eats food. And the dog eats food. And then you can add more to the sentence. Watch what happens. What kind of dog do you want to talk about? Let's add an adjective. Big dog. The big dog. We're adding more. What kind of food does he eat? Well, yummy food. And what kind of food you can actually say as you go over here. And now it just becomes bigger. When at night, here we can go ahead. Ooh, how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine. Nine words in this sentence, okay? Same idea. One, two, three, four. The big old dog eats yummy food at night. Breathe in, breathe out, full sentence, rhythm. One, two, three, four. The big old dog eats yummy food at night. If you practice reading that way, one time, two times, three times, four times, many times, you will be able to read with a flow. And you will sound, you will sound like native speaker. And it all native speaker difference between native speaker and non-native speaker is native speaker knows the time of how they speak. Natural, they know it because they, they lived, uh, lived in that um, environment for all their life. Hmm? Here, we are just learning new sentences. We are learning new language. So we are, have to understand how to Try to communicate, communicate with each other. So reading is the first key to understand this language. And if you want to read and understand yourself, record your reading, record yourself, pronunciation. Listen to yourself when you're reading. Try to fix yourself. And eventually, you will sound like a native speaker. Many years of repeating, repeating. One, two, three, four. The old, the big old dog eats yummy food at night. Nah, 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 nah. And it's, I can make it happy. Emotion, you can use emotion, right? Let's say, not only timing, okay? How do you feel? How do you feel? <laughs> do you feel? I'm happy. I'm very happy. Hi, everybody. I'm very happy. Yeah. Or I'm sad. I'm very sad. I'm not. No, I'm very sad. Or I'm angry. I'm very angry. Oh my God, I'm angry. Or oh, I'm surprised. The stress in your reading comes from how you feel personally. Same original sentence. The dog eats food, okay? Now, let's try happy. The dog eats food. The dog eats food. The dog eats food. It's a wave going up. I'm feeling happy. My feeling is up. The dog eats food. And this intonation, you are reading with emotion. The sentence you are reading is your sentence you are reading. It's going inside your mind. 
You're listening to it when you're speaking it and reading it. You record yourself and you can hear yourself. You practice it again and again with feeling happy. Then if you want, you can try being sad. The dog eats food. A very flat, almost falling, a very flat, almost falling intonation. Angry. The dog eats food. Sharp. Mountain spike. The dog eats food. A quick incline. So if you can use your emotion, how you feel, right? Your feeling. And then you look at the words. Remember, one, two, three. Relax and speak. You will sound like native speaker eventually with enough practice. If you want to become a native speaker, you can. No excuse. There is no excuse. Okay. So wonderful midterm test, everybody. I give you everybody an A for this test. You showed me your level in your reading. Everyone has a different level in this class, even though we're only four students. Each student has a different level in English understanding. So that's why I'm recording this, okay? And this video will be uploaded in this week's LMS. So you watch this video. I hope the recording is good. And I will put it on the LMS so that you can review it to understand this lecture. I hope this lecture is helpful for you because during the final exam, I will test your reading again. Okay? Don't worry. <laughs> All right, no worries.